Welcome everyone. Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to discuss how humidity affects joint pain. Think about it. There are people who live in cold environments or actually warm environments or even hot environments and they're having pain. So they're trying to find a happy median on where they can relocate, maybe city, state, or even country to make them feel better. Uh, there are multi-millions of people with arthritic pain, degenerative joint disease, herniated discs, spondylosis. Uh, the list goes on. The bottom line is irritation on the nerve or around the nerve endings causing pain. Pain is debilitating and no one wants to go there. So let's discuss something important and hopefully this will give you some wiser information of why you may be having your pain. Joint pain is caused by a triggering of neuroreceptors and nerve endings that are sensitive to such change. While the exact cause remains elusive, the fact that millions of people with arthritis or bone and joint injuries complain of pain when the weather turns cloudy or damp. It has been determined that there is a direct link between humidity and dehydration of the body. High humidity levels in the air thickens the blood, which increases pressure in the blood vessels and requires more effort by the heart to pump blood throughout the body. Now, dehydration causes joint pain because the joint cartilage contains a large amount of water. Hot and humid environments cause excessive sweating and loss of body fluids. Temperature variations have long been believed to be a trigger for joint pain in many individuals with arthritis and other bone and joint injuries. The Rothman Institute of Thomas Jefferson University Hospital stated that changes in weather, such as warm and dry to damp and cold, also triggered baroreceptors in joints that cause increased sensation of joint pain in individuals of all ages. Now, humid weather especially causes already sensitive or inflamed tissues to expand, increasing pain for arthritis sufferers. So what do we learn from this? The bottom line is dehydration causes problems. Think about the disc is mainly composed of fluid and water. Our blood mainly is composed of water. The lubricants of synovial fluid mainly is composed of water. So basically, when we are dehydrated, which many of us don't even know when we're dehydrated, you must be drinking your water. I ask you to share this video. Why? Because it is so simple. Many of chronic pain sufferers can benefit by just drinking water. You may have been, you might have been through the whole route of the gamut of doctors, of anti-inflammatories and pain uh, killers and all kinds of drugs. But if you increase the intake of water, the safest, most effective thing you can do first, and hopefully that may conquer your problem. Please subscribe if you are a new viewer. Uh, I ask you to check out my channel, Motivational Doc, as well as Facebook, Motivational Doc. Whatever reviews you give me over there, I would appreciate it. Whatever thumbs up as well. Most important, blessings to everyone. Make it a great day. Bye-bye now.